let's take a look at the upcoming elections. How are things shaping up in the Senate, Stu? Very, very closely, Glenn. Uh, very, very close races. Uh, a lot of toss-up states, a lot of very tight uh, back can I, can, and forth. Can, can mm-hmm. we start with Fetterman, please? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that is it still really, really close? Is it still is he still like three points ahead or five points ahead? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's. Uh, I How is that possible? Thank you, thank you. How is that possible, Sarah? Do you have that clip? And the Eagles are so much better than the Eagles. Oh my gosh, this guy can't no, function. No, no. Now no. look. I mean, I'm I'm wondering who's really running the show. Who is running the Democratic Party? Because you have Joe Biden, who is, I mean, he's there occasionally. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Mentally, he's mentally there occasionally. Other times, no idea. Kamala Harris? Nah, she's not. She, she just blathers on and says nothing. We have an entire thing at VeepThoughts.com of all of her idiocy. Right? right? Like right. she's a, literally a bit. She continually tries to talk but can't say anything. Right. Uh, Feinstein? God. They've basically admitted that she's not even doing the job anymore. Look at all of the people that are in Nancy Congress. Nancy Pelosi's hammered half hammered. the time, allegedly, when she's making any speech. Either that or she's just she just doesn't know what she's talking about. But I think it's hammered. And Fetterman's a great one. I mean, we, we constantly beat on Joe Biden and his ability to get through speeches. He's remarkably better than John Fetterman at this right now. Uh, John Fetterman can't speak. So this is a deliberative body. Can I ask you a question? It, and 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 no no offense mean uh, uh, meant here by people who are in this, but I don't want a special ed class running my country, and that's pretty much what we have in the Democratic Party right now: people that can no longer think clearly. For one reason or another. Yeah, they're all different reasons. They're all different reasons. But we, we, the, the, you can't run a country like this. You can't run a country like this. And we've seen what happens when you try it, right? Well, we've seen the last two years. We've seen the results of what happens when you attempt to do it this way. It and does not work. You have to ask yourself, who's making the policies? Who's making the policies? I mean, I'm, I'm asking that rhetorically. Well, I, the, but, the, 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 the uh, Taiwan policy is a good example of this Who, who's making the taiwan policy uh, joe biden keeps coming out and saying over and over again that we are our our troops are going to go defend taiwan if china attacks it that's joe biden's policy and then five minutes later the white house and five other organizations within our government come out and say that's actually not our policy it's not we swear we swear and then joe biden comes out and does another interview and says it again and then he does it again and again he's done it four or five times well lindsey i mean this lindsey graham abortion bill which we'll get into some other day. Um, mm-hmm. This Lindsey Graham abortion bill. Biden came out and said, it's stricter than my church's abortion. No, it's not. No, no. The Catholic how, church- how could that be stricter than the Catholic? <laughs> Catholic is no abortion. How can you be stricter? <laughs> death. Death for abortion. What well, I mean, it's how amazing. could it be stricter than that? No, it's <laughs> not. No. Uh, this is just craziness. So they're going, we're, we're going, I mean, they're trying everything they can to look, look, throw you off of the scent of what you should actually be voting they're, for. No, they're trying. They are not trying. They are lying to mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. That's all that this is. They are lying to you. Stricter. It's a 15 week um, uh, ban on abortions. After 15 weeks, you can't have abortions. That's more lenient than France. Okay. France has 13 weeks. This is 15. So to get people to vote for these clowns, they just have to lie to you. How many times do they have to lie to you before you wake up? Well, in some countries, it doesn't. They never wake up. And I got to. You mentioned the abortion policy, so let me just at least. Okay. Because this is a big abor- uh, a big election issue here. There's a big story that's happening in Arizona right now, which is one of the. Uh, the biggest states when it comes to the Senate and, of course, uh, the governor as well in Arizona. And there's an there's a law from 1864, I think it was, that mm-hmm. passed that basically said no abortions for any reasons, except I think there's a life of the mother exception. 
And it can be penalized with something. You know, whipping, se- horse whipping. It's not horse whipping. The, bo- but it's- the Border Patrol <laughs> comes and whips you with their horses while she's still laying in bed. Yeah, it's something like, I think it's three to five years in prison for someone who mm. uh, facilitates one of these uh, abortions. Now, of course, we got into the Roe versus Wade era. This law was still in the books, never got repealed. They never did anything about it. And now we're on the other side of this. Roe versus Wade gets overturned. And they go to the, you know, they run it through the courts and the courts say, yeah, this is still a law. If you want to change a law, you can change a law. But currently, this is the law of the land. You must apply it. Right. That, that's how the law works. Right. Like if you want it, you can repeal a law. You can pass yeah. a new law that overrides that law. Now, since then, uh, Arizona has tried to go through with a 15 week ban. But as of right now, it looks like the law of the land is still this 1864 law. So, <laughs> so. Can't be 1864. I don't think Arizona was a state. It was not a state when this was passed. It was a a territorial. Territorial. uh, Okay, so we go back to literally the cowboy and Mm -hmm. Indian times. So that, but this is the law, and this is the way the law works. And you will not tie your horse up on uh, the door of my saloon either. Now, now, of course, what we're talking about here is you'd have to go to California, right, like that, or somewhere else nearby where you could get your abortion if you needed to get an abortion, if this law were to stay in place. Uh, So this is a back and forth. The left is trying so hard to make abortion the, the, the entire election here. Because, of course, they see this as, you know, some of the polling shows that um, the majority of people are against the Supreme Court decision, blah, 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 blah. They only have a couple of issues here they can run on. One is they think they can run on Donald Trump because half the country doesn't like him. Uh, They want to run on abortion. Uh, That's about all they have, right? So they're trying to make it seem like now no one will will lock down when the Democrats have any lines on abortion. They never have to express their lines on it. Only Republicans have to come up with their lines on abortion. Democrats never have to say that they want it all the way until birth. They never have to do any of that. Right. Only Peter Ducey is the only one who ever asked them about it. Because they don't have a line. They have no line. It's not up to birth. It's not up to birth. Their opinions are far more unpopular than the Republican positions on this, but the media is assisting them on this. And so... There is a, a a slew of Republicans that are trying to find this middle ground, quote unquote. Right. Lindsey Graham being one of them. Hey, let's pass a 15 week ab- abortion ban. I'm well, sorry. Did we just spend the last 50 years fighting over Roe versus Wade so that we could eliminate eight percent of abortions? Yeah. Is that what we did? Yeah. The whole. The, I want to make sure I understand this whole Roe versus Wade fight. All these years was hey, if it works, in. Across the entire country, we can eliminate 8% of abortions. May I just ask you a question, though? The the Supreme Court said the federal government has no role right. in this. So it has to go to the states. So w- why wouldn't this be overturned as well as unconstitutional? I think it probably would, especially with this Supreme Court. But again, what is the point of winning elections? If What is the point of winning an election... If you win election after election after election and get all the Supreme Court justices in and then they overturn Roe versus Wade and then your big idea is, hey, what if we mess around at the very edges of the fringe and eliminate a few super late term abortions? Well, I mean, that's great. It's better than nothing. But that clearly that can't be the reason why you spend a half century battle to overturn Roe versus Wade. Obviously, that can't be the end of this, right? No, because at 15 weeks... We will get better with technology and we'll be able to sell uh, save children before 15 weeks. We'll be- eventually be able to grow them in a jar. Okay. And whether you can save them in a jar or not, they, it's still life. Right, right. I know. But as it gets closer and closer to being able to just take that embryo and put it in a jar yeah. and grow it in a jar, we know it's life. It's like, you know, it gets harder and harder. 21 to deny. weeks. Now it's 15. What's it going to be in the future? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> 